Hi there. Welcome to 50 Questions Friday for August 30th of 2024. So we will begin this morning by jumping into the heart space. If you are here live, uh, please join us on chats and the questions tab for any of your questions. And as always, we have a really wonderful crew of people that show up here, and so they can certainly help with clarification of some of the answers. And we will get started by going into the heart space, and then we'll check in here with everybody. So if you haven't joined us before, we always do the three breaths to go into the heart space to kind of set the stage, so to speak, energetically as we connect here. So just putting your attention to the physical heart where you find your light, imagining connecting heart to heart with the earth, taking in that deep breath of the earth up into the feet, to the heart, and just being fully present with that connection to the earth. It does amazing things for you throughout the day when you stop and reconnect with earth. The second breath in this Trinity breath is we connect with us as creator God, as soul, breathing in that light of you into the heart. And the third breath is where you imagine connecting both creation and the earth with you within the heart. This is the Trinity of the Trinity breath, earth, sky, and you. And that brings you into the heart space. And hello, everybody. Hey, Malit, glad you're here today. Hey, Connie from Maine. And hey, Nika from SoCal. Nika, ah, glad you joined us here today. Um, and hey, Connie from Milwaukee. Oh, gosh, I didn't know you were in Milwaukee. That's a cool place. I love taking the trolley across the lake. Well, thank you guys for all joining us here today. Um, and if you have not been here before, we do this live, which you can find out about the lives by joining our newsletter at twistedsage.com. And if you ever have questions, you can just do a email reply uh, when we send out the 50 question Friday um, informative link. And then that way you can still get your questions in if you're not able to attend live. All right, so we will start with some questions from the internet here today. Um, let's try and think of any announcements. Let's see, we just did the tool of the week, which is the expansive light bangles. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite tools. You know, after we did the meditation here on Wednesday, I was so flipping far out that I kind of had troubles going through the rest of um, some of the uses for these bangles, especially how I use them. Um, you know, and maybe we'll talk more about the light bangles if anybody has any questions today, the expansive light energetic. Um, let's see, any other announcements? We had to take the grounding shoe inserts off. Uh, we are no longer creating the grounding ring inserts for the shoes. Um, gosh, we spent too many too much time replacing those because we do have a lifetime guarantee on the tools. And if you put the grounding ring inserts in your shoe to where it bends wrong, they snap. And so we were having so many of these return that we just had to um, be done with the grounding ring inserts, which is really too bad. I love those things. Um, we'll figure out a different way. Um, there's already a lot of other grounding tools and the grounding is in many of the tools, especially the coil pendants, you'll find the grounding, um, you know, the grounding really is a part of all the tools, but it's just nice to have a tool specifically for grounding, just like it's great to have something that is specifically the expansive light, because then you can really tune into the, just that specific energy more. Um, but we do have many other tools in the just the specifically the grounding energetics. Um, let's see any other announcements. So yeah, the expansive light bangle. Um, those are on sale EL 12 until gosh, Wednesday. 
But we are also having our Labor Day sale this weekend. Um, I believe that started today, actually. So um, if you just go to the website on the homepage, you'll see the information, the coupon code, everything for the um, sale. <laughs> Emily, you wear one of the grounding ring inserts as a pendant. I understand. You know, I've met so many uh, gals who keep the grounding ring ring inserts in their in their bras and their brassiers, and you know that's just the way they like to wear them. Um, and we will come out with um, either a pendant or something of the nature that is specifically for grounding. Just like we're going to come out with a new pendant for just the expansive light here sometime. That one is still on the back burners waiting to come through as an expansive light pendant. Um, let's see. Anything else? Oh, my goodness, you guys. Today, I'm so excited. As soon as we're done with 50 Crescents Friday here, I'm going to open up the front doors. Uh, my good friend, Dr. Dream and Stephanie are going to be here. And they're going to do one of their singing bowl retreats here for us today for everybody here at Twisted Sage. So excited. This is like um, their 777th show that they're doing, their events, 777th. And we're going to do it today here in Twisted Sage Studios. We got the place cleared out. Um, super exciting. He's the one that makes, I don't have one sitting right here. He makes the brass singing bowls from Tibet. Um, he's worked with all the mines over there to create the seven metals that come in. And he works with two villages in Tibet to create those metal gong bowls, those singing bowls. And they are pretty fantastic. So anyway, super excited to have Dr. Dream here in the house. So anyway, I'm hoping that he'll let us do a few little short videos to share <sighs> Gosh, so if you ever have a chance to see Dr. Dream live, oh my goodness, um, it's allgood.com. It's allgood.com. And they travel all over the U.S. Um, and other way, and other else places. Um, gosh, I ran into them in Guatemala one day doing a singing bowl thing in the jungle. <laughs> so they're everywhere. But anyway... Um, that's my excitement in our announcements here for today. I can't think of anything else um, to announce for Twisted Sage wise. I'm working at getting back into offering sessions again. So hopefully here by next week, um, when you go to twistedsage.com at the very top menu bar, you'll see the distance healing. I believe Brenda is opening up sessions again. So if you're interested in sessions with Brenda, Go to the elders three t h r e e the elders three dot com, and you can find out more about Brenda and her sessions. And it's also under the distance healing on Twisted Sage. And so, hopefully, by next weekend, you'll be able to go to the distance healing on the menu bar on Twisted Sage and be able to have access to to my calendar. Um, and I'll start doing sessions again here soon. So it's good to finally be back and functioning in this realm. Oh my God, you guys, I've been like not here for quite some time. It's been, it's been a ride. And I know a lot of you guys are on the journey too. And that's, you know, oh my goodness, it is a beautiful time to be. And the journey can be pretty wicked and wild at times. But you know what? It is absolutely beautiful. Keep your head up, your heart open. Um, we are in magnificent times right now. And as we continue to release and expand, things are just going to get more and more brighter and beautiful. And truly, when you see all the chaos in your own world, uh, smile and know it is happening for you. And it's a big, beautiful shift. Um, we just have to get through the other side. So just trust and allow your processes. Anyway, that's that's my wisdom for you for today from everything I've been going through for the past oh, five years, I think, ever since the wisdom tools came out. All right. I'll quit chattering and we can get to some questions here. Gosh, let's see. So I'm going to pull up any of the questions. I think we only had one or two questions. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, 
Uh, let's see, one question with the Bader coil with ring. So let's see, I placed the Bader coil with ring inside the personal alchemist trio of rings. I was wondering what your opinion would be about placing a harmony generator on top of the coil. Um, so, you know, anytime that you are utilizing any of the tools, oh my goodness, play, 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 keep adding combinations. You're never going to do any harm um, when you're working with the tools and you're adding more and more things to it. Even outside things, you know, like crystals or essential oils or frequencies or whatever it is, play with it. So, yes, totally. Um, when you put a tensor field generator on top of the Bader coil and some rings around the base of it, you are just amplifying the, the Bader coil with the rings. And then the tensor field generators act as broadcasters. And so where a tensor field generator has, you know, let's say this five block sphere of influence, let's say, when you put that generator on top of the Bader coil, it expands it greatly, not only in the width uh, of the field here in this plane, but you are just creating an expansion through the realms as well, through the spaces, places, realms, dimensions, whatever you want to call it, to places where we exist as all that we are. Um, so yeah, please do just play with the tools. And um, I'm trying to remember if we did, I, I think we might have did this, gosh, um, where, where we go into the heart space to be able to feel the tools better. I'm pretty sure we did this on a 50 Questions Friday here, maybe even last week. But basically, um, when you play with the tools, if you are, you know, to tune into what happens when you place these three rings with this generator to really feel that energy it's about being in the heart space because when you're in your heart space you have access to all of the other senses we are as humans are pretty senseless except for the human senses we do pick up on other senses that are available to us um you know the the clairs the the being able to hear, see, understand, feel, know, all those different clairs, those knowingnesses, the, the different abilities that we have are more easily accessed through the heart because they are other dimensions, other planes, other frequencies. They are beyond the human senses. So when we step into the heart space, we have better access to the senses beyond just the human senses. So go into the heart space when you play with the tools and you can better feel what those fields are doing. Um, all right, getting to the questions here. Is the Light Bangles meditation available on YouTube? Uh, yes, so on, on YouTube, now we did something with the original Light Bangles, which are the, the thinner gauged. In those original Light Bangles, the meditation there was all about creating that infinity loop between the mind and the earth and the body and soul. Um, trying to remember which meditation that was. The beautiful thing though is, is that if you go through like the 50 questions Fridays, um, my niece Amber goes through the 50 questions Fridays and she'll timestamp um, underneath the description of the video She'll do a timestamp and the question. Um, so you can certainly, you know, scavenge through all of the med meditations. You can find them on YouTube. We are working at extracting those meditations and putting them on YouTube as just a solo meditation. So I'm not sure which one it is for the original Light Bangles, um, the name of it, but it is the one where you connect mind to earth. Now the expansive light bangles, this is a whole different energy. The expansive light is, um, we did one meditation on the expansive light, um, that is solo on YouTube. And then also last week we did a, a meditation of feeling into your expansive light. Um, so both of the light bangle meditations, the light bangle and the expansive light 
are definitely on YouTube. And I'm sorry, I don't have the exact link to what that is. Um, uh, Nika, I used a pair of the light bangles, placing one at the nape of my neck and one on my navel. The opening and flow felt amazing. Are you aware of an energy link or flow between these areas? Whew. You know, um, there are, yeah, there are so many. And that's the beautiful thing about working with those rings is that um, you really can bring your awareness and feel into those different energy flows. Um, you know, everything is energy. We have so many energy systems working together within our being. And, um, yeah, that's, that's why we say keep playing, play as much as you can. Um, but I think that's, that's a beautiful one at the nape of the neck and then on the navel. Um, and no, I personally have not played with, with that particular connection flow, but I do know that there are so many different systems that we can work with within the body. Um, and thank you for sharing that one. So, yeah, and that's it, you guys, is that it's really nice to hear from other people what they're doing with the tools. Because, you know, for years we were told not to give instructions with the tools because that puts them in a box and limits them. And really the true limit is your imagination, your consciousness, and, and your personal guidance on how to utilize the tools. And people are using them in so many new ways. So, Nika, thank you for sharing you know you using it on the nape of the neck and the navel in that connection because um a lot of times we don't think about these cool fun things we can do with the tools hey nancy um i put my bader coil on my eye to help with the macular degeneration with great improvement that is fantastic that you were able to use that bader coil and get improvement with it and truly you know what we see these imbalances that we carry that come up as either a dis-ease or a discomfort, um, something that's not quite right, something that is off with energy. Healing is nothing more than release and rebalance. And so anytime that you have anything going on, there is obviously an energetic root cause for it. Don't go looking into physiological and Oh, doctor, what is it? Is it my diet? Is it this or that? It's everything is energy. It truly is. And when something is out of balance, it causes the issues. So what knocks it out of balance is an energy, a discordant energy, maybe something that is an old unprocessed emotion or experience. So what we do is we, when we do the work, we are totally allowing for whatever the energetic is that knocked us off balance in the first place. And we just bring in that field. Let's say you're using it over the eye, the beta coil. You just truly know and believe that you are releasing whatever energy caused this. And as you release that energy, everything comes back into balance automatically. And the tensor fields are great at rebalancing so for you to release the thing so like when you're using that beta coil on the eye you know and you're in the heart space your soft intention not your hard structured this is what it looks like intention your overall broad paintbrush stroke intention is that you are releasing what no longer serves what caused the disturbance and you are doing it with gratitude. You're not trying to fight it and say, oh, get the hell out of here and things like that. No, you are allowing it to transform that energy that you gain the wisdom from that experience. And when you truly, you know, instead of fighting it, you know, you're just gleaning the wisdom from whatever this is. And when you approach it like that, you approach it with more gratitude and not trying to fight, kill, destroy, get rid of. Because it is there happening for you and not to you. So, sorry I kind of went off on this tangent, but I just feel that is kind of necessary for people to understand that when you're doing the healing work, 
you are bringing your gratitude for what it is because knowing that you are bringing that to wisdom and that that is going to serve you in a new beautiful way um anyway soapbox i will get off of it all right so we're gonna jump back over here um hey valerie from colorado good to see you today hey happy friday let's see um you know just a comment just hearing you talk about those areas as mind feeling icy hot and flowing you know and truly just bringing your attention your awareness when you're in the heart space and you have been working at bringing in your light more and when you're in your heart and you bring your awareness to something you are bringing your divine awareness your light to something and when you do it in a way that you are grateful for whatever it is no matter how you perceive it to be good bad ugly beautiful whatever when you are truly grateful for what that is because you know that it is only temporary it's moving through it's coming to wisdom it is going to create something greater for you um yeah sorry soapbox i got lost <laughs> all right i'll quit now um connie i love my expensive light golden fire gaia sphere sitting on a betar coil with ring in a large moldavite crystal inside i don't have words to describe yeah, the Golden Fire Gaia Sphere is flipping amazing. It's still one of my favorite Gaia Spheres. And that's cool that you have it with Moldavite in the Vedar coil. Um, another comment. I know these tools have assisted with ease, flow, and release during my personal shifts and the collective shifts coming at us so rapidly now. You know, they really do. And that's, that's especially these expansive light bangles um, or this expansive light energy. It is really helping to smooth things out. So like when we did our meditation on Wednesday with the expansive light mangles on the tool of the week, which is on YouTube, um, that's what we were doing is we were bringing more of that light to the mind. Um, and that is so huge when you bring that light to the mind as well as everything else. I mean, it just creates the shifts with a lot more grace and ease. Um, Let's see, question here. We have an HP generator at home and another one at my husband's office 40 miles away. I was wondering if they will connect to each other. For example, if I speak an intention to the one at home, would it also create the field at his office? Yes. Um, with your intention, you are connecting those fields. You know, in in because truly you don't need to have that generator right in your hand that you can just sit and go into the heart space, use your imagination, visualize that generator sitting 40 miles away and you can speak your intention into it right there by it being 40 miles away. And I like what you did is you can totally connect the two. It doesn't take anything but your intent that you've connected the two. So now then they are broadcasting that same intention. Um, so thank you for that question because, you know, yes, working with the tools, you can totally work with them at a distance. Um, and that's kind of like what we do, you know, and we do attunements to some of the specific tools like the golden fire and light one that we use to anchor columns of light. And, you know, I always talk about how you don't need the physical tool that you basically, once you attune to it, once you energetically connect with what this tool is, then you can use it all the time to anchor columns of light. So, so totally these fields are definitely quantum fields that we can access, um, at any moment, anywhere. Um, so let's see. I think that might be everything for the questions today. Let me double check here. Gosh, I swear we had another question or two. Hmm. 
Mm, nope. Okay. Well, then, um, gosh, I was trying to think if there's anything else to share here today. Um, no, I guess not. Well, do tune in. Uh, next week, we are going to do um, our Tool of the Week. And I will give you guys a heads up of the Tool of the Week. The Tool of the Week next week is our home set of water rings. Um, so we're going to be discussing the home set of water rings on next Wednesday. And it's I, I plan on it being a pretty good webinar because the water rings, the home set has shifted. Oh, I got a home set right here. So the home set of the water rings have shifted, gosh, four times, I think. The original ones were like the Slim Sperling cubits and, oh yeah, and they fit on the head. For most people, these will go over their head. I got an extraordinarily large head. I can't find helmets to fit my size. But um, the water rings, we're going to do the um, webinar on, and they have the highest potentials the nothing space and the grounding ring. So here's where you can find another one. The grounding tools is in the set of water rings. So anyway, next week we will be offering a discount on that as well as doing the webinar where we can do questions and answers. So be on the lookout for that one coming up. Um, yeah, thank you guys for being here today. Um, as always, we always appreciate the support. And again, if you are sharing these tools with other people, please do sign up to be an affiliate because you can get 11% off uh, or 11% commission paid weekly automatically uh, just by sharing that link and anybody that purchases tools from your link. So that is one of the ways that we really want to help get ourselves out there more. So, and I, I guess I would love to ask the favor of, um, you know, sharing the tools, the information, the website with other people um, and to, to make it more of a return or an incentive, you know, you can certainly sign up to be an affiliate it's under the about us on twistedsage.com. And when you share your affiliate link, again, it's a win, win, win for everybody. Um, so thank you all for considering that. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. If you do have some more questions and, you know, a lot of times of the personal nature, you are welcome to send an email in as well. So, um, Hey, thank you guys again for the support, for being here. And I hope you all have a phenomenal long weekend. Um, you know, it is Labor Day weekend. I think I'm going to run off and go on a motorcycle ride to the Colorado mountains. It sounds like a wonderful time. So, all right, you guys take care, much love. And yeah, thanks for being here. All right. Take care. Enjoy the weekend.